On this night, in the 27th year of the reign of Augustus, 1,850 years after the arrival of Abraham in this land, the land of Canaan. 1,250 years after Moses' exodus from Egypt. 753 years since the birth of Rome. 587 years since the destruction of Jerusalem and the deportation to Babylon. A star appeared in the sky. 1,000 years since the reign of David. His descendants, it is written, will give birth to the Messiah, the Savior of the people of Israel. Eventually, we'll find a caravan to strip. It's more than a month since we had a lucky hit. 
never seen such a star like him. Do you think it could be a bad omen? It might just bring us luck. Do you see them? Yes. They're not from this land. What do we do, sir? We'll go take a look. Sir, look! To your left, across the river. Peace be with you and with all your men. And with you, brother. He hasn't arrived yet. Don't worry, Jasper. I saw him before. He was nearing the ford. Let's go meet him. Three years have passed since we met at your house. Since then, I've been waiting for the star and for this moment. Peace of the Holy be with you, Balthazar. They're Romans. We certainly won't tell them why we're here. Hey, God be with you, Roman. Who are you? Merchants. From over there, you all seem to come from different directions. All roads meet. You should know that. Where are you headed? To Egypt. To return full of merchandise, I suppose. Maybe. Maybe you're right. Will you stop in Jerusalem? As do all the travelers that come from the east. We're no match for them. If they see us, the Romans will tear us to pieces. Let's go. We'll search for another caravan. There must be one for us somewhere. In one hourglass, we've walked 367 strides. 24 hourglasses from this morning means 8,808 strides. If we keep this pace, in a day, at most two, we'll reach Bethlehem. Right, woman? Yes, Jacek. Thank you. 
<laughs> What's your name? What do you own? We have arrived. It is here that we have to stop for the census. This is the village of my birth. We are going further on to Bethlehem. Stop! Woman, you shouldn't be walking. Take my donkey. Well, we can't accept. Where are you going? To Bethlehem. Ah, so am I. And when we get there, you'll give me back my donkey. Thank you, Joseph. Stop! Look at these footprints. They're fresh. Caravan is up ahead, heavy laden too. I told you this would be our lucky day. Let's go. Tracks lead to the forest. We'd better follow them on foot. Where are you going? <laughs> huh? Looking for someone? Just for something to eat. If you come as friends, you are welcome. You said that star was a bad omen. No. It's a good star. For he who knows how to read its sign. Welcome. Malachi has been expecting you for days. Wait for me. I'm going to get some water. Let's see. Three sips each. We're 11. 33 sips makes half a jug. Right, woman? Oh, Mary. I was thinking about our son. One 
1,515 sheep. 1,560 sheep. 1,500... 1,517 sheep. I thought it was only a dream, but instead... The memory of that morning is so vivid in me that it seems as if it were yesterday. It was a day like any other. Mary, where are you going? I'm going to the well. What about Joseph? <sighs> yeah, come on, when are you getting married? I don't know, soon. Mother, give it to me. I'll carry it. I'll go put them in the oven. Rejoice, Mary, full of grace. The Lord is with you. <laughs> Do not fear, Mary. Who, who are you to know my name? You have found grace with God. You will bear a child, and you will name him Jesus. This son of yours will be great, and will be called Son of the Holy. The Lord above will give him the throne of David, his father. And he will reign forever on the house of Jacob. But how is it possible? I've known no man. The Holy Spirit will descend upon you and cover you with his shadow, the power of the Lord. He who shall be born will be the Holy One and will be named the Son of God. But how can it be possible? Nothing is impossible with God. Your cousin Elizabeth has conceived a son in her old age and is in her sixth month. Here I am, the servant of the Lord. May what you have said be done to me. That is what I said, and that is what happened. I didn't believe you at first. Then I had a dream. Joseph. Huh? Yes? Don't be afraid to take Mary with you. What she has said to you is true. She is with child. Yes. She will give birth to a son whom you will name Jesus. Jesus? He will save his people from their sins. Jesus. Sometimes I'm afraid. The task that has been given to us is so great. Why us? Who can answer that question?
Malachi. The ancient chronicles make no mention of such an important event. The brightness of the star, its motion in the sky, it all leads us to think that it's the one we've been waiting for. But why is this all happening now? Do you think it might be the sign? My calculations confirm that a king is about to be born. The Messiah that the people of Israel are expecting. The prophets do indeed speak of a king who is destined to save the world. Where will he be born? <laughs> and you, Bethlehem, so tiny among the cities of Judah. Out of you will come he who will dominate Israel. During his days, justice will bloom and peace will reign. He will free the poor who cry out and save the downtrodden who find no help. Therefore, the Lord himself will give you a sign. Jesus, a man who lived in Palestine 2,000 years ago. Who was he really? A human being like anyone else, and yet he was not only a man. All Christians proclaim that Jesus of Nazareth is the Messiah, the Son of God. The word Jesus comes from the Hebrew word Yoshua, meaning Savior. Messiah comes from the Hebrew word Mashiach. Christos in Greek means the Anointed One. It was the ancient prophets of Israel who announced that a Messiah would be born. Prophets had announced that after Adam's sin and his expulsion from the earthly paradise, and after waiting thousands of years, the Almighty would send into the world the one who would open again to all men the way to spiritual happiness and to grace. That is why the Messiah was eagerly awaited for centuries. And this enabled the people of Israel to bear injustices, war, slavery, violence. Then Jesus, the long-awaited Messiah, was born. The future birth of Jesus was announced to the simple, the humble, and in the first place to his mother-to-be, to Mary, a girl who lived in Nazareth, a small village in Galilee. This event is known as the Annunciation because the announcement of her maternity was brought to Mary by an angel. The Gospel according to St. Luke says, The angel Gabriel was sent by God to the village of Nazareth to a virgin engaged to a man by the name of Joseph of the house of David. The virgin's name was Mary. The announcement that followed made Mary aware of her high calling at God's will, and she submitted to it by answering to the angel Gabriel, Here am I, the handmaiden of the Lord. Do with me as you will. Then Mary set out to go to Ein Karim to visit her cousin Elizabeth, who was inspired to tell her, Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. Then Mary answered, my soul glorifies the Lord, and my spirit exalts in God my Savior, for he has seen the humility of his handmaiden. From now on, all generations shall call me blessed. These words mark the beginning of one of the most beautiful chapters of the Gospel according to St. Luke, which has become the chant of thankfulness ever since the first traditional Christian communities. It is still celebrated today in the liturgy of the Christian Church. <laughs> 